Hey guys, it's Fluffy Becca XO. I've done all my face makeup already and I'm gonna jump straight into this. Sorry I haven't recorded all week, like I said. I'm doing all three now. Um anyway, like in one big video to catch up. I'm just starting off with eyeliner, so I'm gonna be doing a cat um eye makeup tutorial with my Bobbi Brown pencil once again and my eyeliner. I also got a liquid eyeliner on me this time. And I'm just gonna go ahead and jump straight into it. Sorry, my retainer was in. If you did not hear that, jump straight into it. Okay, so just doing normal wing liner. As you can see, I'm awful at liners. So this took a while to get, so I was taking my time. I also done like the inner corner, like slightly pointed, just to give that feline look. And also, I done the waterline in my eye leaving a tiny bit blank in the centre but the majority of it was all black with this eyeliner I then got a pencil, black pencil black eye pencil whatever and again filled in my waterline leaving a gap in the centre so once I have done both of my eyes I am doing the nose I wasn't too happy with how I done the nose, not gonna lie but here it is anyway I'm just doing a small little blob. No, I think the nose is alright. But, eh, could have been better. I, like I said, I was in a rush because my can cord was about to die. It literally died so many times whilst I was filming this. So, yeah, I'm using black pencil. Also, if you want, you can use contacts. But, like, cat eye contacts, I just didn't use them because they're last minute ideas. So, not all of you can get Harlem plus you're not all old enough. I'm pretty sure that line was a bit too thick, that's why I don't really like the look. Once I filled the nose in completely black, I am then doing the same with my lips. As you can see. Also, i done that hair like that simply just because of a cat. Do you dig it? Comment below. Ugh, sorry, I can't talk. Comment down below if you dig it or not. So sexy, right? So once I have done that, my eye got really watery, guessing it was the eyeliner as you can see I just pointed and yeah just filling in the nose again and then I'm doing these little dots for where the whiskers are going to come off. I then got hold of my white eye pencil and drew the whiskers, you can use black if you want or do it on your cheek like most people do but yeah. I'm then using my mascara, any old mascara will do. You can also use fake lashes if you want, didn't have any, and that pretty much is the finished look. As you can see, I was trying to be a cute cat but kind of failed, it wasn't cute or adorable at all, because I'm just not cute or adorable, and yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed that, now on to the next one. I kept my eye makeup exactly the same and just changed the nose slightly because this time I'm going to be doing a leopard. So keep it completely safe, follow this first set of different eyeliner and this time I'm going to be grabbing a black eyeliner. Looking for my eyeliner pencil, bear with. <laughs> okay, now layers open, I am now using my brush and doing circular and C shapes on my head to create dots or spots like leopards have. And I'm just filling that in. As you can see, doing little circles, C's, whatever shapes you think are right for leopard spots. I'm not doing them too big either, just little ones. Also, my cancorder does start to die quite a few times during this video soon, so sorry about that. So once you've added dots everywhere, I am then going to go ahead and grab my eyeshadow palette to add a smoky eye around the eyeliner. So as you can see, just using a dark brown. And then I'm going to be adding a white in the center just to brighten my eyes up a bit so it's not too dark. So I can, I will show you now like these are the three colours I use and that is what I done on my eye. It's not amazing. Sorry, I'm not a makeup artist. 
is again it was rushed sorry i'm then using my bronzer just a cheap old bronzer from boots or wherever it was and just bronzing up my face because leopards are pretty bronzed up or whatever that's what i thought just appearing more brown that's what i mean so just adding that around my nose give it a more feline look and everywhere on my head like my temples and my cheekbones to have an orange contour basically there you go orange contouring once i have done that ah uh, focus i am then grabbing the browns again and filling these spots in I also decided to put my Stila highlighter on, but I couldn't show it because my camcorder died and I completely forgot to film it. So sorry. So I also included highlighter, but you don't need to do that step. You do not need to use a highlighter if you do not feel the need to. But yeah, I did. I also dart underneath my brows and on my nose a bit and my Cupid's bow, but whatever. If you don't not keep his bow, it's like by your lip, but whatever, yeah. Sick one. And then getting a white eyeshadow, I showed you too because I use bow, doesn't really matter, and doing it slightly around my mouth to give the white muzzle, I guess. Yeah, a white muzzle. I then decided to use my white eyeliner pencil, add it in my waterline to give a more leopard slash big cat effect because they have that little white bit underneath their eyes sometimes. I don't know leopards don't, but tigers do. I just thought it looked cool on a leopard. Not accurate, I know. Sorry, but not sorry. I like it. And yeah. So adding white in my waterline. And then around the muzzle. And then drawing the whiskers again. Yay, whiskers. I also have the spots on my neck if you just realise. Like, you can add as many spots as you want. Depends how revealing your outfit's going to be for Halloween. And then getting the dark brown eyeshadow and doing that for the little spots. Where my whiskers go. As you can see. And then after that, I'm just using my NYX liquid lipstick for the final thing. And that is look number two done. So there's a leopard if you want to be a sexy ass kitty or a big cat. Then these are two looks go for. And now for the last one. Yay. Raw. Guys, I just wanted to say before I start, I've already started because my battery is low. I literally just got eyeliner and like done the outline here and rubbed it to shade and also around my eyes. That's literally it. The rest of it, I'm going to do the tutorial one now. Hope you enjoy the final one. Okay, so as I stated, um, my cancord kept dying. I'm using paint from a really cheap, like, Halloween paint set I got from Sainsbury's. You can find it anywhere. I'm just covering the whole of that in white and then doing black on my nose. I sped it up because, like, it, 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 it took quite a while to do. That was taking my time since I'd used my finger due to the fact I did not have a brush on me. But yeah, you can go to any cheap shop to find these little paint pots. And yeah, I never actually used like face paint paints on myself before. This was the first time I'd done it. So no hate. And yeah, it was like a semi-skeleton. It wasn't like a complete fill-out skull. I've done a, ske a, a skull before. I'll probably do that in like next year's Halloween videos as I won't have time to add another Halloween video. As tomorrow's video will be me and what I'm actually going to wear for Halloween. So stay tuned flat. I'm also adding black here, like two lines here to add like dimension, I guess you could say. So it looks more like a mask slash bandana type thing or whatever. Or you could do like, I pretty digged like before I added the white and just leave it like that. I think that looks pretty cool too, but whatever. Then going back in with the white just to get rid of all the harsh blackness. 
just to even the colouring out. Then going in with the black and covering my lips completely in black until I'm happy with it. You could also use the black lipstick I guess or black eyeshadows or the liquid eyeliner or just black eyeliner again if you want. If you aren't able to get hold of the black paint but I'm not sure what else I'd use for white. So yeah. And then deepen the black, making sure it's as black as I want it to appear. And then starting the lines. I say I won't try and make it properly look like a skull because I didn't do skeleton teeth or like the black. But I added black around my forehead as well and lines because it's quick and not meant to be super detailed. So that is literally the look. Enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed these free tutorials. Um, have a great Halloween. I will be uploading what I'm actually gonna wear for Halloween. So stay tuned for that. Comment, rate, and subscribe to Fluffy Becca XO. Love you guys. And I actually love this. Um, sorry. Um, yeah. So comment, rate, and subscribe. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.